Colt's 1873 single-action Army revolver, chambered for the powerful 45 Colt cartridge, changed the history of America like no other gun before or since. And no other gun is so closely linked to the history of the Old West. Immediately adopted by the U.S. military, the first 1873s produced went directly to U.S. cavalry troops in the American West. In fact, many of Custer's troops at the Battle of the Little Bighorn carried the new Colt single-action army revolver. Civilian demand for the new pistol was high, and even though it would cost him a month's wages, no cowboy was complete until he was packing one of the new Frontier six-shooters. Even outlaws from Jesse James to Butch Cassidy carried an 1873 Colt single-action army at some point in their career, and for good reason. The 1873 was great looking well-balanced and powerful. The 1873 was originally manufactured with a seven and a half inch blued barrel and cylinder, case hardened frame with walnut grips, but variations became available almost immediately. A few years ago, an employee at Colt found an order for a Colt 45 Peacemaker with a five and a half inch barrel, nickel finish and ivory grips. The order was from famed lawman Bat Masterson and it was written on stationery from the Long Branch Saloon in Dodge City, Kansas. There are over 50 different models of the classic 1873 single action available from Uberti in three barrel lengths, chambered in 357 Magnum, 4440, and 45 Colt. The single action Cattleman revolver also comes in a matching set, which share a matching serial number distinguished by a preceding L or R and are chambered in 45 Colt and 357 Magnum. An engraved model is also available with a pearl style grip, silver finish, and is also chambered in 45 Colt. And new to Uberti's Cattleman lineup is a beefed up version of the 1873 Cattleman called the Callahan. This new version features a blued barrel, frame, and cylinder, and is offered in 44 Magnum with four and three quarter, six, and seven and a half inch barrels with fixed or adjustable sights.